Gracias, located in western Honduras, is home to almost 25,000 people. It serves as a transportation hub linking Santa Rosa de Copan to other surrounding towns. Export and sustenance-based farming of coffee and vanilla are the center of the majority of the town's activity. The tourist economy and the picturesque landscape set the town apart. Not unlike the rest of Honduras, the people are faced with what seems like the never-ending problem of inadequate health care. The costs are high, and most of the people are poor. Out of Honduras's population, about 53% live in what are considered rural areas. Of those living in rural areas, about three out of every four people live below the poverty line. Even for those who can afford health care, there is only about one doctor for every 1,500 people living in Honduras. There is great fear among the government that if a major epidemic were to occur, the poor sanitation would cause the disease to spread at a dangerous rate. Fortunately for the people of Gracias, the situation is improved by the Clinica Medica San Lucas, a place where patients can receive dental care, prescribed medications, ultrasound, lab work, and general exams. For those patients who can't afford to pay the clinics, low cost of $3.70 for an appointment, the services are given for free. The Clinic Surgery Center hosts groups of doctors who have come from abroad to perform surgeries for free on those who might need them, and those who would not be able to have access to them otherwise. I can't do it enough. Really like the San Lucas barber. Medical Clinic is among the best in Honduras. It is run by the Luke Society, a Christian missionary organization based out of the United States. The organization sends volunteers to several locations on five of the seven continents. First of all, this clinic is uh, really to help the poor, and uh, so that makes it uh, different than a lot of uh, other clinics or hospitals in Honduras. But the, the primary difference in this clinic is that uh, it's not only to uh, uh, treat them for medical problems, but also uh, it's a clinic which is, gives a Christian witness and it's to try to uh, reach uh, them in their lives and tell them about Jesus and how he can uh, uh, save them also. So it's also a, a Christian evangelistic uh, outreach through the medical care. When the doctors first arrive at the clinic, the entrance is crowded with potential patients. These patients have put their name and what type of doctor they would like to see on a list and wait to hear for their name to be called. Jose Mariano Aguilar. Jose Mariano Aguilar. Está. Omar Said García. Aquí está. Miriam Reyes. Once a patient's name is called, they enter the clinic and sit down with one of the surgeons to discuss why they have come. On this particular week, a plastic surgeon, an orthopedic surgeon, and two anesthesiologists from Michigan have arrived to volunteer their skills for surgery in the clinic. If the surgeon can perform the surgery, the patient will be scheduled in for later in the week. Some patients are turned away if the surgeon cannot do the surgery. And it would be very easy to take off, and we would just leave a little scar right by where her eyebrow is. The... My name is Hugo Medina. I'm a pastor. I'm also a translator. So we work here at the hospital. When whenever the brigades comes, they call me up and and come and help people, like translating what they want to say to the doctor and what the doctor said to them to see if they have any chance to have a surgery or not. What they do here is they try to uh, they do surgery for for practically we could say free what other uh, hospitals, private hospitals, would cover or would charge to the people. Um, and we also try to help those ones that they don't got no money, those ones they come from far away. 
So we don't charge them money. We just uh, help them in whatever we can. And especially the doctor that they take their time to get here. They, they pay for their trip, for the medication that they're bringing and give it to them. Can she straighten her elbow? This girl's arm was burned just weeks before in a sugar cane fire. Mm. So beautiful. The plastic surgeon will attempt to cut away some of the scar tissue so that the girl will be able to move her arm and hand freely again. The next day, medical instruments are sterilized and operating rooms are prepared for the first round of surgeries. The first patient is Jose, a 10-year-old boy with a cleft palate. Cleft palates are fairly common in Central America and can interfere with a person's speech and food intake. In the United States, cleft palates are usually dealt with within the first six weeks of a person's life. In Honduras, it is not uncommon for someone to have to live with it all the way into young adulthood. Surgeries are performed throughout the week on people from all over Honduras who need medical care. Many people travel from very far away just to be treated at the clinic. She walks for four hours to the village and then she takes a bus that takes three hours to come here. This man came to the clinic after he cut his thumb in a machete accident. He traveled for over two days just to get to the clinic. Dr. Alaru, the plastic surgeon, will give him medicine and proper bandages from the clinic's bodega. After surgery, patients recuperate in the recovery room. Meanwhile, construction on newer parts of the clinic are still underway. The clinic is also a source of help for many of the unemployed people in Gracias. Many of the builders working on the clinic would not have a job otherwise. Surgeries continue throughout the week until it is finally time for the doctors to return home to the United States. It's a keeper. Clinica Medica San Lucas makes quite an impact on the surrounding areas, giving many people the help that the Luke Society provides. The elegant paper We love having the groups down here and having uh, volunteers that are willing to uh, spend a week down here and uh, serve the poor. And it's always amazing to me how well every group uh, works together and uh, how much they accomplish and the great attitudes that they have and the witness they have uh, uh, for Christ as they uh, work down here.